Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are doing well and enjoying your summer vacations today we will solve the remedy pack of mathematics level 8 question number 2 part number 2 distributive law of intersection over union of set first of all let us consider what is distributive law of intersection over union let consider we have three sets a b and c then distributive law can be written as a intersection b union c is equal to a intersection b union a intersection c this is the distributive law of intersection over union now we have to verify this law by using venn diagram first of all consider left hand side that is a intersection b union c for that first consider b union c the set b is given as 1 3 5 seven, 9 11 1 3 5 7 9 11 union c is given as 3 6 9 12 15 so the union of these two set contain all the element that are present whether in a or whether in b b or c so this is 1 3 5 6 7 9 11 12 15 next we will be find a intersection b union c the set a is given as 2 4 6 8 10 12 15 and its intersection with b union c that is 1 3 5 6 7 9 11 12 and 15 so intersection will contain the elements that are present in both a and b 2 is present here but not in this set 4 not 6 next come 8 10 12 and next last is 12 so A intersection B union C is equal to six and twelve. A intersection B union C. Next, we will draw its Venn diagram using Venn diagram that is given as a rectangle containing the universal set and all the three sets. Set A contains the element two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Set B contains element one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, and C contains three, six, nine, twelve, and fifteen. So, set A and B have the common element. None of the common element. So, these are two disjoint sets. So, A and B are two disjoint sets. And set C contain three from set B and six from A, so it is overlapping both of these sets. This is the set C. First, we will find B union C. B union C contain all those element that are present in B and C. So we will we will here mark all the elements of B and C. these two elements are two. next is a intersection b and c so we will here mark only those element that are present in both a and b union c which are just these element so these this portion that contain the both the horizontal and vertical lines this portion represent a intersection b union c this portion that contain both the horizontal and vertical line represent a intersection b union c now consider this right hand side that is given as a intersection b union a intersection c so consider here right hand side first of all we will solve a intersection b a is given as 2 4 6 8 10 12 intersection b contains 1 3 5 7 9 11 
so students if we look at here none of the element of set a and b are common so here the intersection of a and b will be an empty set phi next we will find a intersection c which will be written as a is 2 4 6 8 10 12 intersection c contain element 3 6 9 12 15 so the intersection of a and c will be 6 and 12 these two are the intersection of a and c the last step is we have to find the union of a intersection b and a intersection c so here we will find a union intersection b union a intersection c A intersection B contain an empty set union. A intersection C contain six and twelve. So the union of these two sets will be six and twelve, which is equal to the left hand side. Now again using Venn diagram. We have. a rectangle containing universal set u a and b are disjoint sets and c is overlapping both a and b so student first we will mark here a intersection b student by looking here a intersection b containing an empty set it doesn't contain any element so we will mark here none of the given area next is a intersection c contain 6 and 12 a intersection c contain the element that are present in both a and c which is this part of the set we will mark here a intersection c la in the last step we have mark here A intersection B union A intersection C, which is again six and twelve. So we will again mark this number. So the portion here represent A intersection B union A intersection C. Student, if you look uh, here in this Venn diagram, this portion. represent a intersection b union c and here this portion represent a intersection b union a intersection c both are having same venn diagram and same answer so here we verified that hence verified a intersection b union c is equal to a intersection b union a intersection c that is the law of distribution of intersection over union of set this is our today's lecture students hope you understand it meet you soon in the next video till then allah hafiz